Hi everyone. Today I'll be showing improvements to form an open SCAP plugin. And uh, some time ago, we've been asked to add uh, additional format uh, for scans. We were asked to support uh, scans based on oval contents, which is a quite popular format, I hear. Uh, and today I'll be showing uh, the status of, uh, of this feature. And uh, we, are, we are nearing uh, the, the end of the first iteration for this feature, and we are hoping for pretty much uh, feature parity across UI, CLI, and API for the coming Foreman uh, release. But uh, as of today, there are still a couple of uh, pieces missing. And uh, that is why this feature will be as a tech preview. And it is located on the, the lab features menu. If you don't have uh, the lab features menu, uh, you need to enable it by going into settings. And then uh, down here in the general tab, uh, there is show experimental labs uh, setting which you need to turn on in order to actually see uh, the lab features uh, menu and be able to access uh, these new pages. Uh, so with, uh, with, oval, uh, with oval scanning, uh, the flow is uh, similar uh, to uh, the scanning that we already have with OpenSCAP. Uh, but uh, when implementing this new feature, uh, we actually tried to uh, make a couple of improvements uh, based on the feedback that we have uh, from the users and make it a bit more uh, a bit more pleasant. Uh, and the first uh, first thing, uh, but then again, uh, the flow is uh, is similar, so there won't be any. Uh, and a huge differences uh, compared to what users are uh, accustomed to with uh, the scanning that we already have. So the first step uh, is to actually upload your oval content. And uh, when creating oval content, one, uh, one significant change was made. And compared to SCAP contents, uh, users are users are also able to use oval content from URL. So if uh, you have a source for the oval content, uh, which is published, uh, which is published, and you have a repository, you are able to bring in uh, your oval contents uh, via, via URL. And uh, the idea is uh, that this will be much, uh, much more simple to update. Because with current SCAP contents, uh, if you are using uh, the files from SCAP security guide, users need to go and update their RPM on the system. Then they need to uh, upload the new, uh, the new contents uh, into Foreman. And that is quite lengthy. And uh, we wanted to streamline, streamline this process a little bit. So uh, that's why uh, there is an option to use uh, URL. Uh, the old, uh, there is also the possibility to use uh, uh, the content from the file, uh, but uh, yeah, it is it's recommended to uh, to use uh, the URL if if it's a possibility, uh, because uh, then it opens us uh, for uh, for features such as uh, doing this uh, uh, doing the syncs uh, of the contents automatically in the future. But that's uh, not something we will have uh, in the in the next release. That's something that is definitely nice to have. Uh, so these are these are oval contents, and uh, then we use uh, the content to actually define uh, the policy. And the policy is uh, is quite simple. Uh, again, it has uh, it has uh, the uh, the period attribute which uh, is the same as on the uh, existing policies. Uh, it determines how often the scans run. Uh, right now, the only possible uh, deployment type is by Ansible. 
Uh, so again, the answer to deploy the config to the clients. And uh, uh, so the, the role needs to be assigned to the hosts or host groups. And also the open sky proxy is needed because uh, the configuration and uh, the, the reports are coming through the, through the proxy. Uh, right now, we only support uh, assigning to, uh, to host groups. I have just one host group assigned. Uh, uh, for now, we don't have the assignment to individual hosts as we have uh, with the existing policies. And uh, the result, uh, the result, the result uh, is a list of CDEs. We don't have uh, such, uh, uh, reports uh, such as we have for uh, for the existing scans. So uh, the list of CDEs uh, is what. Uh, Users get, and then there are links to uh, to the CVE uh, details, uh, which uh, tell users more about the vulnerability and how it affects uh, the hosts. And that's that's pretty much all I have. Cool. So has anyone any questions, comments for Andra? Yeah. Andrew, the, Andrew just posted a question there, wondering when, when we might see this, what version? Uh, uh, it will uh, it will be as a tech preview for now. Just for the foreseeable future, it won't roll downstream into a satellite version anytime soon. Yeah, it will be included in satellite, but as a as a tech preview. In which version of? Satellite? In satellite seven. Okay, doc. Unless something changed. Okay. So um it's um how would you say it's pen penciled in for, for that for now. Yeah, for now. Cool. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, Doug, then. So thank you, Andra. Um, you don't, do you have any, do you have any thoughts, any closing final thoughts, Andra, on, on Foreman and OpenScap? Anything you want to add? I don't think so. Yeah, I know this was rather short. That's okay. Just wanted to make sure that we have everything. No problem then. Thank you. I'll stop.